first of all uh, nlp is like a support of uh, machine learning so it is like a separate domain under machine learning mm -hmm. it may mm -hmm. also come under deep learning too depends on the use cases you are working on so it can understand natural uh, language that we are talking like uh, this now uh, if you go for machines means it can only understand numbers so all the things we are uh, talking about like all the words or in any language it will be automatically mm. converted into numbers and after that only we are going to process that uh, input from any of the users so mm. that is one major thing about nlp so all the things will be converted uh, into numbers and uh, this is like a one part of uh, natural language processing and other parts are uh, natural language understanding in order to understand each context of the word so that is another uh, separate section and another one is natural language generation machine learning model or deep learning model can able to create or uh, generate new words on its own based on the previous context so that is also another uh, topic under nlp so this nlp means uh, this is like a basic uh, concept on natural language okay. okay let's start with the basics first uh, let's take a text this is a session. Mm -hmm. So first, um, this is this whole thing is considered as a sentence, right? Yeah. So we will uh, split each uh, word as a token. So tokenization is an important part. So we will uh, split this large chunk of uh, sentence into a smaller chunks. So this will be a token. This will be a token. Like that, each uh, word will be a token. Let's say we have another uh, sentence. San Francisco. So if we just normally uh, split the words accordingly means it will just uh, split it using space. So this will be a word. This will be a bird, word. So but so, we already know so, as a human, it's a location. Correct? Yeah. Just a question. Uh, yeah. You say it's splitting between the, uh, the space. Uh, is it uh, considered a tokenization or is that the same? Yeah, if you like, uh, generally people are mostly used to do, uh, apart from tokenization, they will just uh, split all the words using the spaces. So that is not a better way of approaching uh, uh, when you uh, go under L NLP. Sure, but uh, is uh, splitting it by the spaces, is that tokenization? Yeah, yeah, they have a separate uh, model uh, like Mm -hmm. In NLP, we have a uh, separate uh, modules for that. That is mm -hmm. NLTK, Natural Language uh, Toolkit. That is uh, basic for all uh, NLP tasks. And apart mm -hmm. from that, you have uh, Spacey. That is also another yeah. uh, machine learning package. And yes. uh, you can also have some other open source. These are the top two of uh, for N natural language. So uh, what was the last thing you said? Yeah, uh, Spacey. For, oh yeah, for, yeah, yeah, Spacey, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll just uh, mention the modules, NLTK and uh, Spacey. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, the space I've heard of. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from that, uh, they have uh, many open source uh, modules for uh, natural language that is mm. still under development. You can use mm -hmm. uh, for the specific scenario. You have to go for the GitHub and uh, download the, those code. Yeah, it yeah. may also uh, constructed on top of this, but uh, mm. they may have additional uh, facilities depends on the scenarios. Right, right, okay. So this is like a basic machine learning uh, packages you will be using. So yeah. for uh, tokenization, if you use the tokenization module, mm -hmm. it will consider this whole thing as a word. Uh, this mm -hmm. will consider as a location because they have some predefined uh, uh, yeah. words in English. So they can mm -hmm. uh, consider this is a whole word and this is not. Yeah. So that is the advantage of uh, tokenization. So you will just use tokenization to split all the words based on that for English language. If you want any other language apart from English means you have to download the language module. Uh, even in N NLTK, you can specify the language okay. or modules. So popular languages are uh, English, Russian, German. So these are uh, major languages. Uh, it can be mm -hmm. up to 10 to 13 uh, based on the research papers. So okay. all of the 
languages have some huge amount of corpus that you can uh, available in open source so you can uh, mm -hmm. use it anytime so, and the, yeah when it's open source it's also commercially uh, available right so you can use it commercially yeah anyone can uh, use it mm, yeah okay only for like few models are uh, privatized if you want to do some research on that particular module means you have to make a request uh, for that particular researcher and they may uh, able to access you it depends okay yeah yeah okay okay uh, the next one is normalization so just to be clear uh, tokenization is uh, uh, splitting between spaces or was it two different things no splitting be between spaces is like a general thing token what tokenization yeah, it's a, a lot, it does is, is it it will uh, consider call, uh, this as a word. Yeah, but what do you call the split between uh, spaces? Like people usually uh, split directly without using tokenization. They just uh, assume. Oh, so, so they, uh, they literally use a split function. Yeah. So that's okay, the okay, I understand. Approach. Yeah. So they, they just read the array. Mm, yeah. Okay, I understand. Okay. The next one is uh, normalization. Usually, uh, text will be in different format. So as you can see, uh, this this has a capital T, and even yeah. in San Francisco as a capital S. Yes. If you have have another, this means. So this will considered as a separate token, and this will considered as a separate token because of this uh, mm -hmm. capitalization. Yeah, yeah, normalization. I'm familiar with actually. So yeah, yeah. In normalization, you will be uh, converting to same case, mm. removing punctuations. Mm. Uh, and the, the normalization is that like the standard start in a way yeah like you need best, to normalize all the tests in yeah it's a best practice if you don't yeah. do normalization means uh, um your model uh, performance will be automatically decrease okay yeah sure okay so another tip is uh, in nlp most of the time mm -hmm. you will be doing only pre-processing so the if you consider as a whole uh, project as 50 hours means 40 hours you'll be spending mostly on pre-processing itself because so what do you mean by pre-processing pre-processing means this uh, tokenization normalization it's uh, creating the data like rearranging and pre-processing the data oh okay 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 i understand so you will be spending majority of the time on that only people usually yeah. jump into the model and uh, try various amount of model but yeah. the main thing is you need to have a proper data set with a valid number mm -hmm. of samples and mm -hmm. uh, it should be clean. It should be without uh, punctuations or without any numbers. In uh, normalization itself, uh, you will be converting numbers into words. Yeah. So this will uh, automatically uh, convert into a number later on, but uh, mm -hmm. it's a uh, good practice to convert all the numbers into a words. Right. So, so, for instance, uh, for instance, yeah. if we were saying that I had some um, uh, uh, interviews, right, where there is this uh, transcription, yeah, then there are some timestamps. Do you yeah. remove the timestamps, or yes. do you just normalize them? No, you should uh, remove the timestamp. And uh, and uh, then removing it is not the same as normalization, correct? Because then... uh, you will be removing unnecessary attributes uh, also. Okay, okay. And is all of this normalization, is this done by uh, the same framework or would it be that in this case we are talking about this? So uh, for normalization, uh, you also will be removing unnecessary but tokens. Is, is, so... the, uh, is the unnecessary things preset so I don't need to no, you so have just... to use a regular expression. Oh, okay, okay, sure. So that uh, they have a module for rejects in Python. You will do regular expression most of the times for uh, cleaning this uh, every uh, punctuations and removing numbers. Okay. It depends on your customizations. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, then I, I'm 100% following you. Yeah, sometimes like uh, in some scenarios, number uh, will play a crucial role. Uh, if yeah, you exactly. consider like a stock analysis or any other mm. thing, number play uh, plays a crucial role. But uh, in some cases, uh, number don't play a crucial role. So you need to remove uh, numbers at that time. So it depends on the scenario only. Yeah. 
usually just uh, people just um, copy the pre-processing function like uh, clean text. They'll yeah. be having some yeah. four rejects and uh, they just yeah. apply it uh, randomly. But you don't okay. need to do kind of uh, similar steps. Sure. Okay. Yeah, this will uh, make all the data in a equal manner, so that can be understand by model easily. Uh, 